I love my Nespresso maker, but buying all of these pods can definitely get expensive. Today, I'm going to show you how you can refill your Nespresso pods, A, to help the environment, and B, to save you a little bit of money. With this kit that costs under $20 and your favorite type of coffee, you can refill your Nespresso pods in under five minutes. Before I tried this, I know I had a lot of questions as to whether or not it would work, how everything was actually going to be put all together. So don't worry, I'll also be answering a few FAQs at the end of the video in case you have any questions. And as always, feel free to drop anything in the comments and I'll get back to you with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe for more coffee videos. I love coffee and there's lots more recipes coming to you soon. We first have to talk about what supplies you'll need to do this project. You'll need some foil seals, an espresso pod holder, and a brush, which all comes in this $20 kit that you can buy off of Amazon. Plus, you'll need some finely ground coffee, as well as used Nespresso pods. The first step is grabbing all of your used pods from the back of the machine, and then you'll grab a sharp paring knife and carefully cut around the foil. Once you cut partway through, you can start to peel off the foil. Try to get as much off as possible, but if there's still a little foil on the lip, it should be okay, it shouldn't mess up the process too much, just try to get it as clean as possible. Next, remove all of the grounds from the pod and discard them in the trash can. Then wash the pods really well with warm, soapy water. Make sure not to dent or damage the pods at this point, just be really careful while you're washing. And then you want to allow the pods to either air dry or pat dry with a towel. Now we're ready to actually refill everything. First, set the bamboo holder on the counter, I like to use a piece of parchment paper underneath to keep things clean. And then pour a scoop of finely ground coffee into the pod. Using the plastic scoop that comes with the refill kit, tamp or gently tap down the coffee grounds into an even layer. If needed, add additional coffee until the pod is almost filled to the top. Then brush away any excess coffee grounds on the lip of the pod and place a foil seal on top. Try your best to get the seal as even as possible. However, as long as all of the edges are fully sealed, you should be okay. Use the tip of your finger to adhere the foil seal to the pod and then grab it out of the container and fold over all of the edges. This is an important step because it ensures that the pod doesn't get stuck in the Nespresso machine. At this stage, I also like to double check just to make sure everything is really well sealed so that way I know that it won't explode. Doing a side-by-side -side comparison at this point, you can see that the refilled pod versus the original pods look very similar. But you're probably wondering, how do they compare side-by-side side when we brew an original pod versus a refilled Nespresso pod? Well, I put these to the test and as you can see they have similar brew times. The main difference is that the refilled pods generally produce less crema or the foam on top of the freshly brewed espresso. This is especially noticeable if you let the espresso sit for a little bit. The espresso from the refilled pods is also a little bit weaker although not very noticeable. And when looking at the used pods they actually do look really similar after they've been brewed. Now that you know how to refill the Nespresso pods, let's move on to a few FAQs. The first question that I had is, how long is this process really gonna take? It seems like it might be time consuming, but honestly, when you batch a lot of your pods all at once, it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Especially if you wanna do this week to week, it's really not gonna take you that long. You could prep five to 10 pods for the next couple weeks, and it should only take you about 10 minutes and then you'll be ready to go. The next question I was wondering is how many times you can reuse the pods? Honestly, I've tried and I've reused them three, four, five times. I think what really matters is that the integrity of the structure is still there. There's not too many dents or nicks or any of the metal is flaking. So as long as this still seems like it's intact, you should be good to go to refill them. One of my biggest concerns was if these refilled pods were actually going to hold up in the Nespresso machine. I was afraid that there would be little coffee grounds everywhere if it exploded inside the machine. And honestly, that just seems like a huge mess. So I've tested this out hundreds of times 
times and I have not yet had anything explode in my machine. As long as you make sure that your pods are fully sealed along all of the edges, you should be good to go and you shouldn't have any sort of mess in your Nespresso. You may also be wondering what is the best type of coffee to refill your Nespresso pods with. It really all depends on your taste and your personal preference. The important thing is that you get finely ground beans. And of course, any coffee lover knows that if your beans are crappy, your final cup of coffee is also going to be crappy. So make sure that you're sourcing high quality beans and it's best to grind them right before you use them. If you don't have a coffee grinder, you can always go to a local grocery store where you can freshly grind them right there and then you can use them right away so that you know that they'll have a really good flavor. Finally, the last question I had was how many times can you run these pods through the machine? Obviously, once is preferred because you're gonna get the best, strongest cup of espresso. But if you are okay with having a little bit of a weaker espresso, you can run it through the machine twice. It's again up to you and how you feel like you best prefer your espresso. I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know how it goes refilling your Nespresso pods. And again, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below.